Corvallis has started an ambitious project to revamp public buildings. Architects say 47% of them have outlived their expiration date. Yeah, they say the lack of they lack sufficient space for staff accessibility and are not environmentally sustainable. And KZI 9 News reporter Aaron Ariano tells us about future plans and how much it's going to cost. City officials say their city hall building was supposed to be a temporary home. It was formerly a church and then a dormitory for Oregon State University, but today it is stuffed with cubicles and none of the three floors are street level. City manager Mark Shepard says these buildings cannot keep up with the demand of city services. They've outlived the lifespan in that uh, we haven't grown our facilities as our staff has increased. We're at a 77% deficit in facility space per that assessment that we did. And then you have issues regarding uh, safety of employees, you have equity, access issues, functionality. We're putting people in hallways, in conference rooms, former closets. These are the concept designs of a civic center they want to build that allows more accessibility and transparency for local citizens, as well as more efficient workspaces for city employees. One public building has already been upgraded. Fire station number three now has more personnel and equipment space, as well as new privacy areas for male and female firefighters. This battalion chief says it was important for city council members to see what was needed to improve the old station. Helping them understand um, the environment that our firefighters were living in, it didn't lend to today's society. It didn't allow us to have blended companies, uh, men and women. Showing them where our folks are working out in the bay with the exhaust, um, that there was very little separation in the sleeping areas from that, from those same carcinogens and things along that line. The total cost of this project is estimated to be about $250 million over the span of several years. Well, it's no secret that the city is projected to lose revenue due to the Pac-12 diminishing and affecting Oregon State University here in the city. I asked Shepard if this would have any impact on the funding of this ambitious city project. We've been working on facilities for the last two and a half years. So the ramifications uh, regarding the Pac-12 and OSU have to be considered as we think about what can we fund and how do we fund it? It's about that mechanism and how we fund it. We will, the city will see a, a hit in revenue. The exact hit is yet to be defined, but we're working on trying to understand that. They're exploring many ways to pay for it in full, including full faith and credit bonds. Once decisions are made for new building designs or renovations, they will then discuss all the options to pay for it. We have a full list of buildings they want to renovate on our website, kzi.com. Reporting from Corvallis, Aaron Ariano, KZI 9 News.